welcome everybody to Hogwarts Legacy Dante Cross. Last week, Dante began his search for the Dedalian Keys and helped a fellow student solve a mystery. Now he's on his way to meet with Mr. Moon. What could he want? We're about to find out. Rebellion. Hello again, Mr. Moon. I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on, take the moon. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigeis. A demigeis? <laughs> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future, wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, 
Most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Alohomora. Well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is Revelio. a restricted area of the castle, after all. Got it. Poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation. You can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. Uh, you say that every year, Matilda. Thank you. 
someone there? Hello, Homora. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Perhaps Ranrock and Hisot wouldn't be so combative if the ministry would allow them to have one. One of those goblins comes to me, I'll come to you back. Or hell, I suppose. Anyway, I'm not afraid of goblin rebellion. My marching professor Hector. She's right. Why don't you leave goblins alone? How dare you speak to a prefect that way? I'm a prefect too, you twit. That's it. Fifty health points. You know you can't do that. Oh, <laughs> 
about and the golden switch rather a lot like life isn't it i suppose you should Revenia. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your... assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Rebellion. Revelio. Oh, 
nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio. This Dedalian Keys challenge is coming along nicely. We're lucky to have her. It's good that children are too young to attend a party. I'd hate it if my father was the master. Professor Black. Another house token for the house chest. I spit out for breakfast. I'm not sure it says the right message. That's it. I'm making good progress with those tokens. This Dedalian Keys challenge is coming along nicely. I don't mind saying that I can't think of this pack as a boy. What sort of witch would take that man's hand in that reach? I suppose on the other hand it means his hope for us a lot. Here we go, the last house token. Time to see what's inside. Look at that. Thanks goes to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. If I transfigure my poor toad into a goblin one more time, I think he's going to be simply dead. Professor Howard is going to quiz us on prayer or to be.
Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Whew. Well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to.